Je remercie le représentant. I thank the representative of Jordan, and I give the floor to Deputy Maulana Abdul Ghafoor Haidri, member of the National Assembly of Pakistan. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Praise be to God. And prayers and peace be upon his Prophet Muhammad. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. Oh, people, we have created you from a male and a female. We have created the peoples and tribes in order to know each other. The best of you in the eyes of God is the most pious. True are the words of our Lord. Mr. President, Recent months have witnessed momentous developments towards the peaceful solution of the Middle East conflict. Today, this vital region stands at a crossroads. The peoples of the Middle East have demonstrated serious commitment to achieving a peaceful settlement to their long festering problems by forswearing the path of conflict and a recrimination and making an earnest effort to promote peace and understanding among themselves through dialogue. Mr. President, The government of Pakistan has followed with deep concern and with keen interest the situation in the occupied Arab territories ever since the inception of this crisis. The recent accords and agreements arrived at between the parties involved constitute a first step for the achievement of a durable and comprehensive peace in the Middle East. We fully share the belief that the peace process should lead to the early exercise by the Palestinian people of their right to self-determination through the establishment of an independent homeland. We earnestly hope that the final settlement will include the withdrawal by Israel from all the occupied Palestinian and Arab territories, including the holy city of Al Quds al Sharif. Moreover, it will also adequately address all aspects of the Middle East issue, including the return of the refugees. Pakistan's support for the just struggle for the inalienable rights of the Palestinian people is well known. We have consistently 
endorsed Security Council resolutions 242, 338, and 425 as a basis for the resolution of the Middle East and Palestinian problems. Mr. President, the question of Palestine is at the core of the Arab-Israeli conflict. It has therefore always been assumed that a solution to the Palestine problem would pave the way for a comprehensive settlement in the Middle East. My delegation welcomes the fact that in tandem with progress on the Palestinian issue, significant movement has taken place towards the solution of the problems between Israel and Jordan. In this context, we note with satisfaction the conclusion of the Washington Declaration of July 1994 and the Treaty of Peace in, nine, in October 1994 between the governments of Jordan and Israel. We very much hope to see similar progress soon in resolving the Israeli-Syrian and the Israeli-Lebanese conflicts. In order to achieve a durable and comprehensive peace in the Middle East, it is imperative that successful results be achieved simultaneously on the Lebanese and Syrian tracks. We completely share the view that unless these fundamental issues are adequately addressed, peace will continue to elude the region. Mr. President, it is of utmost importance to maintain the present momentum that has been attained in the negotiating process. We share the expectation of the international community that there should be no delay in the implementation of the agreements reached so far. Moreover, the provisions of these agreements should be complied with both in letter and in spirit. We urge all parties concerned to demonstrate the requisite flexibility and accommodation as well as a sincere commitment to the vision of a lasting peace in the Middle East. Mr. President, The United Nations must continue with its endeavors aimed at resolving the Middle East problem. The organization and its specialized agencies can make a valuable and positive contribution to expand assistance to the Palestinian people. They have a special responsibility to help build the socio-economic infrastructure of, in, of uh, national institutions that are a prerequisite for attainment of peace and prosperity in the Middle East. In this context, my delegation welcomes the important and timely steps taken by the UN Secretary General particularly the appointment of a special coordinator in the occupied territories to act as the focal point for all United Nations economic, social, and other assistance to the Palestinians in the occupied territories. The crucial link between the political process and the socio-economic dimension of the problem cannot be neglected. This link is vital to the achievement of lasting stability in the region.
Paris Accord of April 1994 was a reflection of the resolve of the international community to assist the parties in attaining this objective. On its part, Pakistan is willing to contribute to the achievement of a lasting peace in the region based upon the relevant Security Council resolutions and the agreements between the, the parties concerned. We are also prepared to participate in national reconstruction efforts. Our links with the people of the Middle East region are deep-rooted. And Pakistan looks forward to further reinforcing these natural linkages of our common history. Mr. President, there is today a strong yearning for peace in the Middle East that surpasses any known in the past. It is therefore essential to ensure that the region does not relapse into another period of strife and instability. The international community should seize this historic opportunity and ensure the achievement of a comprehensive, just, and lasting peace in the Middle East. I thank you, Mr. President. May peace be upon you. I thank Deputy Maulana Abdul Ghafoor Khaidri, member of the National Assembly of Pakistan. And I give the